In this video, we're going to look at adding contacts from within Microsoft Teams. Okay, let's jump into it. So from the calls tab here, I can jump into contacts. And from here, I have an add contact button. So I click that. And there's two types of contacts you can add. So firstly, we're gonna add a contact from our uh, business address list or corporate address list. So let's type in Amy, there she is, and we add her there. And it's as simple as that. The next type of contact you can add is a phone number based contact. So let's go and add that. Okay, so we might want to add the coffee shop down the road for quick access, of course, especially on Mondays. Let's go and add that. Um, so now we can now we can add a phone number to that, like so, and add. So now you can see these two contacts that I've just created, uh, and there's different options available for them. So for Amy, who is part of my corporate address list, I have the ability to instant message her or chat her, um, email, video call, or just do a Teams audio call. And additionally, if we had any other numbers listed against Amy, we would see those there. Now the phone number based contact, I only have this option here to do an audio call, which would, which would call that number if you had that capability enabled. Another type of contact you can add is from Outlook, and it's actually the way I would manage this. Outlook provides a, a richer contact experience, and the contacts that you add in Outlook will surface themselves in Teams. Now just a side note to that, when you do add them in Outlook, they will take some time to show in Teams, and if you're in a hurry to get them to show up, you'll need to quit Teams and then restart Teams. So just to give you an example, here are two contacts that I've added in Outlook, and I can see all their contact information in here. These are just phone number based contacts, and um, in this case you can see I've got a home number and a mobile number listed for them. I'll show you in a bit more detail how you actually add and manage contacts in Outlook in another video. In addition to adding contacts, we can manage and group contacts. We can do this in the speed dial area. So let's jump into there. You'll see the contacts I've just added have fallen into the other contacts group, but I might want to add my own group to sort things out. I might want my uh, members of my team I work with closely uh, to be quickly accessible. So let's create a team group. And then once we've created that group, let's go and add a contact to that group. Let's pop Amy in there and add her. And as you can see, within the team group, I now have Amy listed. Now something to note is that as of now, you can't add phone number based contacts into these customized uh, or personal groups. You can add them to a speed dial. So I'll show you that example. I'm gonna add my coffee shop contact into speed dial. And there you have it. So we have a speed dial, we've got a, a custom group that we've created, and then we've got the other contacts that is a catch-all. Thanks for watching, hopefully that was helpful for you.